Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Alex Bell. We begin tonight in Stockton, where according to FBI statistics released in September of 2020, you have a 1 in 24 shot of becoming a victim of a property crime. And statewide, that number is actually in 1 in 43. One of the latest victims, a unique and newly opened store that was broken into and robbed over the weekend. The community has shown us that this is something that needs to happen. Um, I want to bring visibility to the vendors here and artists and creatives. And that is the spirit driving the owner and those who have items there. And they say they are going to continue on, even though this is a setback. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera takes us there now. At the corner of North San Joaquin and Weber in downtown Stockton. We also have Return of the Living Thrift. A one of a kind store for clothing vendors and artists called Dry Cleaners. Just kind of interesting like conversation starter. They're like, oh, do you dry clean clothes? No. So now we have to explain what it is. But just a day after the grand opening, a break in. Right over here, right near the window, they just threw the they just threw the stone and then they grabbed whatever they could. Puka Totis, a sculpture artist who creates unique pendants and more, had ten of her pieces stolen. I was really shocked because it was the second day and I didn't expect that to happen, but you know, it did, it did happen. So. But this broken window hasn't deterred them. In fact, they believe it may be a blessing in disguise. That's because a GoFundMe account to make repairs quickly reached its goal and more. Known as a queer and black owned sustainable clothing shop, the 18 vendors and artisans inside are getting positive exposure from the community. Regardless of what happened, like, honestly, it really showed how tight knit the community is. And I was really shocked because the community was ready to help in any way they could. I mean, the initial feeling is like, oh, man, but when you believe in what you're doing and you're doing it for the right reason, the immediate response after that is no, we got to keep going. The words on the boarded up window say it all. Our community is stronger than a bit of broken glass.